Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these royal retro earrings with super do and seed bead. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so uh, I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by the end of this video. If not, ask me anything in the comments, I'll answer to all of your questions. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week and you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I did this bracelet matching these earrings and you could see it here at the eye icon, so you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook or Instagram. Don't forget that my videos have chapters now and you could go directly to the work, uh, skipping the intro and the, the list of materials. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads and two colors of super duo beads or twin beads. Here I use also a golden color earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so if you have done the bracelet, this part should be easy for you. So what I do first is that I take three golden beads. I will show everything really slowly and easy, so don't worry. You will be able to make it. Okay, I'm first taking two, three golden beads and I do this and I'm holding my tail thread. This time I won't be adding a stopper bead. If you want, you could do it with a stopper bead, like I did in my tutorial with the bracelet, but if not, do it this way that I'm showing here. So now I'm going to, uh, I was going in this direction and I went through the empty hole of the same last twin bead or super dual bead and I take one of these beautiful chameleon beads and I pull like this. Okay, now here is where my two threads meet, my main thread and my tail thread and what I want to do here is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop and, and pull. And now what I do is that I go through all of those beads in this direction. And when I pull tight my knot hides inside. Okay, so now I want to take one golden bead. I'm sliding it down. And I position it like this with the empty hole downwards. And now I'm going through this same empty hole with my thread. So it's zigzag again through one of the holes and then through the other. And now I take a chameleon bead. I prefer to make this work with one needle technique. You could do it with two needles. Okay, so now I'm sliding this chameleon bead down and what I need to do next is take one golden bead slide it down and when you slide it turn it in this direction you see to mirror this side if you turn it like this nothing will work so it tells you your work tells you if you want to make a diamond shape how you should turn your beads in which direction. Okay, so now I'm going here through as many beads as I can because I will be making a repositioning of my thread.
Okay. And I go through all of those beads in this direction. I want to exit out of this hole here. Okay, pull tight. And now I think it's time safely to cut this tail thread here. Okay. And what I want to do here is take one more golden bead because all of the beads at my edge are golden and I only have four chameleon beads in the center. So now as I'm sliding this down I turn it in this direction and I go through its empty hole like I did before. Okay. And here it tells me what to take. I need one golden bead and I'm going through this chameleon here. Then I take one chameleon to finish these four chameleon beads that are in the center of my pattern. And now I'm taking one golden, sliding it down and I'm turning it downwards and you see here to mirror this side I need one more golden but I will turn it in the other direction so I'm sliding it down but I'm turning it in this direction so one is in one direction the other is in the other direction depending on what works best for your pattern Now I'm doing this and I'm always turning my work the way it's easier for me. So don't worry when I turn it, it's because it's the easiest way for me because I'm right-handed. Okay. Then I go here through this golden and here in this row, I need two more goldens to finish it, okay, and to surround the chameleon beads. Okay, I'm adding one golden. Then I add one more golden. And I go here through this golden one and take just one golden and go here forming my last and final step. Okay, so now guys, I want to reach here this hole in order to start my next step. And I'm doing the familiar thread repositioning. Okay, and now I'm exiting here. From this hole, you see. And in this step, I'm taking two chameleon beads, one golden super duo, and two chameleon beads okay this is what I have and I'm going here through this golden and you could also go through the next golden and pull then what I need to do is exit out of this next golden And now I'm going to pick up three chameleon beads, one super duo and three more chameleon beads. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going through this super duo that is here in the center. And then I'm going to repeat this. Okay, and what I do is that I go here through this super duo. And 
then I go back here in this direction. Just like this. And now what I take are two chameleon beads, one golden super duo and two chameleon beads. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going through this golden bead here. In my next step, what I take are five chameleon beads. Okay, I have here my five, then one golden, and then I'm going to pick up five more. Okay, you see, again five. So now I'm going here in this super duo. Okay. Then I will repeat what I have here, and it is two chameleon beads, one super duo, and two chameleon beads. Okay, and I go here in these two goldens, and I go through the second one because I'm going to reposition and go in this direction. And now I will go like this. Okay, so now I take four, four, go through this super duo here. Then I take two chameleon, one and one golden. Okay, and then I take seven chameleon. Okay, now here I have. seven chameleon beads okay you see they are seven two one seven okay and what i do is that i go here through this golden at the bottom then i will repeat this seven one two okay seven one two and i'm going here through this golden so now i have this and here what i need to add are four of these beautiful chameleon beads like i have in my other side okay i'm mirroring both sides Now I have this, I'm turning it in this direction because it's easier for me to go in this direction. Okay, and what I want to take now are three chameleon beads. And I'm going here through this golden. Then I'm zigzagging in this direction through these two beads, just like this. Don't pull too tight in order to have a nice tension here. Now, what I need to take are three more. And in my next step here, I will make one element where I will attach my earring finding. Okay, so here what I need to take is one chameleon bead. I'm going to slide it down like this and then I will attach it to this middle bead by going through its other hole. So it's sticking like this in this moment. Then I'm going again here. And I want to go through this chameleon one more time and also through its top like this. Now I will make a small diamond shape here. Okay, I'm taking one chameleon bead, sliding it down. Then I'm going through its empty hole. 
I'm taking one chameleon, also sliding it down, and this time I'm turning it in this direction. Let me pull with the, the empty hole to the top. And I need to take one more chameleon, sliding it down, but this time in this direction, you see. This one is in this direction and this one is in this direction. Then I go through all of those beads like this. And here at the edge, I need to add three golden beads from both sides. Now I want to reposition and reach this part where I will attach my earring finding. Okay. Now I'm going here through the inner hole of this top bead and then through its outer hole, which is empty. No thread going through it. But now it's not empty anymore and I'm taking two, my earring finding and two more goggles. Okay, this is what I have. And I go back in circle through this hole here at the top. And what I want to do is reinforce. Okay, now guys, I want to go here and continue with this work. Okay, so now I'm taking three seed beads and I'm going here in this direction to repeat this edge here that I did. Then I go one more time like this. In fact, I'm making the repositioning of my thread and I go like this. Okay. Now my work is almost ready, but I will do an additional edge here that is not obligatory, but if you want, you could do it. Now I'm going through all of those beads. Again, here at the edge, I'm not pulling too tight. And I'm exiting here through the middle of my three beads that I added. And what I need to add are four golden beads. And I'm going in the same place here. Okay. Then I go through these two as well. And I'm taking three more golden beads. And I go here. Okay, and now what I want to do is find the place to make a knot. Okay, and I'll make my knot here. I'm making here a loop. 
and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the following C beat and cut your thread okay guys and now my royal earrings are ready Okay guys, and now my royal retro earrings with seed beads and super dues are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself, like I did this bracelet matching these earrings. And I'll give a link here. Uh, at the top corner down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where by the way you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook or instagram pages thank you so much for watching you could check my second channel with the fast clips link in description so that was all from me bye bye